Hello everyone, my name is Ebel and welcome to another video. RPG games and RPG game worlds actually consume half of my life. I was playing Skyrim for half of eternity. One of the things was the maps and the world of Skyrim as an RPG game. So in today's video, we are going to count down top 10 best RPG game worlds which you want to actually live in. Before we dive to the video, I really appreciate it. You click that subscribe button and like the video or don't just watch the video. Let's dive to the video. So number 10 in our list, Dishonored 2. Based on Southern Europe countries like Greece, Italy, and Spain, uh, Karnaka is warmer and sunnier than Dunwall. Reference photos were used from a variety of places to help design the city, including Cuba, Leon, and uh, Malibu, California. The buildings in Karanka frequently have flat roofs and more ornate windows you know just it is just kind of cool detailed you know it's just like there's somebody living there in our list i should think the dishonored should be in our list you know not the top one but it had to be number nine Far Cry 6, which represents Far Cry franchise. I really loved Far Cry fr franchise maps. Wolves always love to you know, roaming around. And for the creation of Yara, the developers drew inspiration from various Caribbean nations, with Cuba being uh, one of them. I, I, I can't say love the Far Cry 6 map, but I just enjoy playing and roaming around. You know, just with horses, dogs, crocodiles, roosters, peoples, everything. Together, it is actually, I think it's reality oriented. I, I just enjoy that and I think it is okay to win in number nine. Number eight, Starfield. Actually, Starfield map is so vast. Uh, there's numbers of planets, so we can't dive into details. Actually, big settlements together for pet set of production you know it's it, it was f it was cool to actually roaming around in a starfield well, starfield take places in a satellite systems a region of space extending outwards from the soul system for approximately 50 light years you know in 2050s humanity explores mars by the 20 2150s, a method of faster than light travel called Great Drive is found. However, around its time, Earth magnetosphere begins to destabilize, gradually rendering it uninhabited. It's okay, I'm not talking that a Starfield is a good game or bad game. And as something that came me out from it, said, uh, I, I actually estimated something better. Yeah. Oh, okay, let, let's go to the next one. The masterpiece of Beth Bethesda, Skyrim. Because I love the Skyrim, you know, it's so much personal for me. Skyrim is set to actually 12 years after the event of the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. Although it is not a direct sequel, Skyrim is a cold and mountainous region in the north of the continent of Tamriel. It has traditionally been divided into nine administrative sections called Holds. Each governed by New York from a larger town. Of these settlements, five South Youth, Windhelm, Markov, Riften, and Whiteron are larger, more powerful, and the last landscape is littered with forts, camps, ruins, and some of which were built by now existing race of Doomer or Deep Elves, Nords, one of the human race view Skyrim as their homeland. Top members of other races populate Skyrim as well. You know, living in Skyrim, actually, the, the map is awesome. For the time, actually, Skyrim launched. I, I played Skyrim for hundreds of hours. The mods, everything, you know, made Skyrim for one, actually. After a time, after after uh, after the time this is the relaxation for me number six in our list elder ring in their journey to repair the elder ring the player character tarnished encounters a maiden named melina because the tarnished is maidenless melina offers to act as their maiden granting them the ability to turn runes into strength and giving the tarnished a steed name torret in exchange, Melina requires the Terranish to take her to Air 3, the home of the Elden Ring. Melina, actually, the Elden Ring map, you know, is fantasy, but also the graphics and the maps is awesome. Actually, it is not some place you want to live and roam around, but it's the, one of the coolest maps I think is out there. Number 5 in our list, Ghost of Tsushima. The Mongol invasion 
of Toshima was chosen as a setting because the conflict was easy for people to immediately conceptualize. As the Mongols at the time had the world's most advanced military, there were high stakes that required Jin, and therefore the player to intervene. To ensure that the game's world was authentic, the team consulted Japan Studio, a fellow Sony game development team, early in the game development. Japan Studio was excited about the idea and helped fly approximately 10 members of Sucker Punch to Japan and to Shima Island for 10 or 11 days guided tour with an historian. The team visited Japan twice to research Tsushima, once during the summer and again in November during the anniversary of the invasion. Japan Studio also helped connect Sucker Punch with historians who the team consulted on the history of the invasion and local Japanese costumes and traditions. Actually, when you review Ghost of Tsushima as this angle of the view, which is historical accuracy and being authentic, it's awesome. Number four, yeah, for sure, GTA V, Grand Theft Auto V is an action adventure game as you, every single one of you know, play from either third person or first person a perspective. Players complete mission linear scenarios with set objectives to progress through the story. Outside of all of that, there is a huge map. You know, players may freely roam the open world composed of the San Andreas open countryside area and its fictional Blaine County and city of Los Santos. The world is much larger in area than earlier entries in the you know series and that and you feel free in this map and you can do uh, so much stuff number three horizon forbidden west horizon forbidden west this continues the story of Aloy ashley birch a young hunter of the north tribe and a clone of an old war scientist elizabeth sovak as she leads a band of companions on the quest to the frontier region known as a forbidden vest to find a source of mysterious plague that kills all its infects on her journey across these lands Aloy encounters new regions ravaged by massive storms and machines and conflicts with a tribe of nomadic raiders some of which have uh, tamed and uh, machines as war mounts uh, she discovers a very vast array of environments and ecosystems including lush valleys, dry deserts, snowy mountains, tropical beaches, ruined cities and underwater cities. And the whole system and map all combined together is one of the you know coolest one out there. Number two in our list, Cyberpunk 2077. When you are creating a list of you know exciting and excellent environments out there, you can't miss the nice city. Cyberpunk exists within its own fictional timeline, which is split from the real world in the 1980s. The timeline has been extended with each major edition of the game, from the first edition set in 2013 to Cyberpunk Red set in 2045. The backstory for Cyberpunk begins with the United States becoming embroiled in the major conflict in Central America in the 1980s. These conflicts end in a military coup and causes a significant economic collapse. As a result, the Soviet Union is itself preserved from the collapse and the European common market and Japan emerge as global superpower. In tandem with economic collapse, other disasters have wrecked havoc across the globe, including the food blights in the devastating famines, as well as the destruction of entire regions of land as a consequence of war. By the late 1990s, the Middle East has become radioactive desert in the fallout of the nuclear conflict. This is a whole background about the cyberpunk, but the night city itself and the whole package, you know, just yeah, just see, just see the details, everything, every people that crossing you, every single pixel of the uh, city is detailed and it is awesome, you know, you can't deny it. Even, you know, maybe cyberpunk didn't start well at the first, you know, so buggy, so glitchy, but, it is at the good stage now and another one of the good ongoing games. Before we dive to the last one, I really appreciate it if you click on the subscribe button, if you enjoyed the video and like the video and say your thoughts in the comment. My name is Ebalon. Thank you for watching the video. Let's dive to the last one. So the last one, and you can predict it easily. 
Red Dead Redemption 2. Yeah. The world of Red Dead Redemption 2 spanned Fuck My Fiction as US states New Hanover and Barino and Lemoyne are located to immediate north and east of the New Austin and West Elizabeth, which returned from Red Dead Redemption. And Barino is a mountain wilderness with the largest settlement being the Vipid Native American Reservation. New Hanover encompassed a sweeping valley and woody foothills and featured the cattle town of Valentine. The Riverside Van Horn trading post and the coal town of Ennisburg. Red Dead Redemption 2 is the only game I think I could just grab my horse, go hunting and bring the old hunting stuff to the camp, finish the whole storyline of the game but you know I just enjoyed going to the forest, you know roaming around the map just going try to hunt something with my bow and just you know sleep and sit down and just, just walk, enjoying walking around the map with you know high graphic settings. With you know something else you know randomly you see something new every time when you move to the Red Dead Redemption 2 you have to be ready for something new